were making brisket in the instant pot last night. I marinated the brisket in pods. It's up El Paso, it's hard to come by, but you can get it on Amazon because I had to get it to get it to Orlando. I used some Mrs. Dash onion, some Kingsford original no salt, some already seasoning salt, and some unseasoned Adolph's tenderizer. And I put it in a bag overnight with the sauce and all these ingredients on it. Overnight please. It's been marinating for about 14 hours, 15 hours. So we're gonna put it in the instant pot. Once I get it in here, I will show you the settings and then how long it's gonna to take to cook it. Be right back. And I'm gonna turn on the instant pot. These are the settings that I use. Can't see, I have to have on my glasses. So you're gonna turn on pressure cook. And then mine is already set at 35 minutes. You would press the plus or the minus to get to 35 minutes. And then you always make sure your pressure level, you would press here, you want it on high. And turn off keep warm, because it's not gonna be on keep warm, you want it to turn up high. I'm gonna throw the onions in. That's just telling you that it's on. with the most fat down inside of the pot. It's it perfect. This one's about three and a half pounds and it fit perfect in there. I think you can get up to about four pounds inside of there. And I'm gonna put the top on and pretty much it's just a pressure cooker so it's just gonna cook for 35 minutes. And I'll show you when it, what it looks like when it's done. on vent so that it the steam comes out from the top so we'll be back in 35 minutes to show you what it looks like when it's done but for now so you see it's off I checked it at 35 minutes it wasn't done so I put it on an additional 35 minutes so it took about an hour and 10 minutes um, the one thing I told you that was wrong it was vented to begin with and of course all the steam was escaping so you should put it on ceiling it says ceiling put it on that and then when it stops when you're done and it says off then you put it on venting so you can open it it has a little a little notch on the top and it'll drop down when the top will be able to be open it's been cooling about 10 minutes right now so it shouldn't take as long for the steam to all vent out and then a little nozzle on the top will drop down and you'll be able to unlock it. Right now you can't unlock it because it's got so much pressure inside of it. Go Saints! Go Raiders. Anyway. Come listen to the cameraman. There's a little steam is escaping now. That's what we're waiting on. So, as I said with that timer, when you set it for 35 minutes the first time, you set it to pressure cook, and then it turns on automatically. It'll say on, it'll beep. 
Um, after that 35 minutes, of course, you should check it to see. I checked it with the fork to see if it was tender enough. I want it to be almost falling apart, so 35 minutes wasn't long enough. So I put it in for an additional 35 minutes, and now it should be done. The nodule dropped, so now the top will open. Turn it to where it says open. Turn it sideways away from you because it's full of steam. Saints one, by the way. I can just turn this fork in here. It'll just come apart. So it took about an hour and 10 minutes. But it is done. As you can see, it's completely done. Look at that. Just falls apart. Later on, we're going to show you what we're going to do with the brisket. We're going to make some potatoes, some baked potatoes, and some sandwiches or something out of it. So we'll come back later on with another video and show you what we did with the brisket. That's all for now. Thanks for watching, YouTube family.